Bridle in hand, Team Beatdown stands outside Natasha's enchantments right here in Sandcaster. I will enchant that bridle you are carrying for 50,000 gold. I'm gonna need you to say that to me again. I will enchant that bridle you are carrying for 50,000 gold. I hope you got 50,000 gold on hand to maybe get around to saving the world. But hey, she's got to survive too, right? Uh, who knows? Maybe it's being done at cost, and that's how much the various materials and reagents are. Enchanted Bridal is now in our possession. We could warp back to Ambrose, but fuck that guy. He was rude. Disrespectful. Oh, my hands are full. You're gonna have to tell me who sent you. Blah, 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 fork tug. Sensitive text parser. How did you get a key? All right, go in. I don't have to deal with that. Oh man, how did how did how did this planet fall apart? How did this world planet? He says, yeah, planet. <laughs> Well, you know, maybe it was because some folks were dicks. How the hell do you get up to the sky road here? He says, constantly spinning around in this. Hey, that just takes you back into there. Does this take you to the sky road? Yes. Great. Cool. Hi. Come here, Sky Golem. We need to have a very stern conversation. That's where we uh, portaled to earlier. Back into Earth Zone, just to show off how it looks down here. Really for myself, too. I want to I wanna see this stuff again. I know that's going to link back to that. We'll leave the island alone for now. Hit back on up. Stay on the road. I'll try not to blitz through any potential demands for tribute. Between water and earth, I constantly travel. A simple clue to unravel. What is with all of these merchants around the dark side of Zine wanting to ask you questions? <laughs> like, <laughs> I've got all this experience in my pocket. And I'm just here camped out on the Sky Road because, well, trade's been killed by all of Alamar's minions, and I have nothing to better do with my the last days of my life. So, uh, I'll just crack open the wagon and hand out this experience. But in exchange, you gotta entertain me. I gave you a clue. What you got, buddy? Correct. I got mud. Again, would have been far more encouraged to do. Riddles and brain teasers. If I got fat sacks of experience, speeding? N no. The party needs rest. Hmm. It's an awkward time to need rest. That is a... That just... Yeah, yeah, okay. It's my, that's on me. It's on me for not remembering the game mechanics. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All right, you enemies call him the hell out. Don't you be shooting laser beams. I hadn't shown that off. And again, the melee combat like that. Well, they have that. Cool. Great. Give me some cold protection. How's the party doing hit point wise? We've been better. Been better. Tiny shots missing a lot. To the power cure box. Ain't missing a lot anymore, that's for damn sure. Slam some hit points in the pork and beans. And uh, we'll keep it moving. The air zone. Team beat down once again. Saves Christmas. And we jump closer to the golems. I'm not constantly shot at the entire damn time. 
And now, now I don't, like, if I get flung all the way down to the bottom again, I'm not, I'm not going out of my way to get back up here. I'm just loading a game. Is in the castle black thing? Yeah. Heads are like, no, don't do it. Maybe we will. Maybe we don't need that Ambrose guy. Nuts to him. Bones, you will search. You find the diary of an adventurer past. Only a small portion remains legible. Zarkon the Great really screwed up that teleport spell this time. Where are we? It smells bad in here, and I have a feeling that someone doesn't want us in their cave. Ploikus Thunbeard, the round, came to a bad end today. He was struggling up a ladder in his ridiculous armor when one of those vampires grabbed for his ankles through a hole in the wall. He let go of the ladder in his panic and fell a good 40 feet, popped like a jelly donut. I'm beginning to wonder if we're ever going to get out of here. That was... Hmm... Hmm, that was 143 years into the future. <laughs> I see. I see. Very good. Who will open? Necroloto. Vampire Lord. Lord of Vampires. The billowing cape. Let's let's give the vampire some time. That's enough time. Find a cloak. Tell me more about this cloak. It's a scorching cloak. Oh, man, it's a hot one. Like seven inches from the midday sun. Get out of here. We found a scarab. It's the scarab of velocity. This velocity scarab is plus 30 speed. That seems good. Plus 30 speed, that that seems all right. Like, if I were going to write down in my handy-dandy notebook, I feel like I feel like plus 30 speed is worth having. <laughs> well, uh, maybe introduce ourselves to plus 30 speed as opposed to... Hmm. We've already got plus 30 speed on you here. This arcane charm, we could, we could get rid of some arcane charm. We don't need 25 spell points. Or team beatdown. 857 can become, uh, you know, 832. That's how plus 25 works. Now it's minus 25. Funny how life is. Velocity Scarab and a Velocity Amulet takes Vic up to speed 140, which is faster than uh, pork and beans. But statistically, they both have monumental speed. That can ensure that if I want to do something with my sorcerer, I can, I can take... Sorcerous steps. It makes sense. It makes sense. Vampires. Seen here. Vampires. A bit different from their appearance in River City. These foes. What you got? Uh huh. Well, anyway. They're pretty simple to clean up. Coffin, who will search? The coffin is empty. What about the tapestry? Apparently, we don't do anything with tapestries in this household. Tiny shop finds a pendant. And we find some webs. What else we got going on over here? Something we can't interact with. That. Really sweet decor, by the way. Can't interact with that either. Or that. Or that. And now we have nowhere to go. And uh, while those friends in a journal we encountered earlier could teleport, see, that was 140 years into the future. We can't teleport. Dark Side really puts a, a like a damper on teleport dreams. That's right, I set those spell points on fire, just to show that off. And I would not do it again, because you already seemed it. Hello. Cool, well anyway. Let's jump closer to this dragon. Whoa. Hey now. I... 
kind of like you having plus 30 accuracy. I'm a big fan of that. So while I am interested in speeding you up, I also do like to ensure that you hit your target. I don't need to have the extra magic like, enchantment on right now, but I want everyone to have that. I just want to keep that as a slot that I don't fuck around with so that we always have some extra shielding against that. Everyone's all right on hit points. Let's proceed. Rest stop. Everyone great on hit points? Not a chance. Kaelin took quite a lot of damage from them there. Cloud Dragons. He says healing Zagger Zaggery. But we, uh, how about we try that again with more feeling? And I did increase cold too. Just a lot of damage on those enemies. Let's throw down a heal on Vic. Alright, everyone's back over quadruple digits. Speeding? Me? Nah. Hello, Griffin. Thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. Let's just throw down a save. What you got? Cool. Pay 10,000 gold? I, you know, the fact that I can just move up arrow to break the dialogue like that. Or else what? Understood. That's mean and hurtful. Tell me about cloud dragons. Cloud dragons. Well, they have 150 speed. They deal 600 cold damage. They are the weakest and most common type of dragon on dark side. Immune to cold and poison attacks and resistant to all other attacks, but fire the weakest types of dragons on dark side what the fuck man it's cool it's cool it's not a body I, my body is fine it's fine I, I didn't i didn't need that anyway Baka. go ahead and throw down an inferno inferno I gotta get used to pork and beans, not going after Necrolotir now, but going after Vic. Alright, how's the party doing hit point wise? We could use some assistance. Some roadside assistance. It's alright, because with this box of power curing, we can make our dreams come true. Who needs to sleep and use this food? We're young. So young. We have our whole lives ahead of us. Okay. Keep it moving. Between air and earth, I constantly travel. A simple clue. All we are is dust in the wind, dude. Correct. Dust. Wind. Dude. There, now we talk so praise the merchant something. Go team. This is danger. Mega dragon. Yeah, we're fine. Fire zone. We're fine. Don't worry about it. Okay. The Mega Dragon lives over there. Hanging out on top of uh, Castle Alamar. So we just don't go over there. And we'll win. There's also this in the middle of nowhere. A blind hop. 
If you teleport nine, you'll make it there. It's probably another Mega Dragon warning. So here's the thing with that. That island probably contains a lamp that has a very rude genie on it. It's like, oh, I've been stuck out here forever. Ah, I hate you. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna teleport nine spaces out of there just to get sass mouthed by a genie. And let's say it's a good genie. What? 500,000 experience points? 10,000 gems? Oh, 10,000 gold? Yeah, 10,000 gold. That doesn't, that doesn't pay for anyone's level. You heard me, you can just keep moping out there. Come back when you're a little mm, richer. Is that too harsh? Am I being mean to the genie? No, I'm not being mean to the genie. I know it's up. Between fire and air, I constantly travel. A simple, a simple clue, clue, clue to unravel. Smoke? Correct. Great. I win the the Elemental Merchant Olympics. Awesome. Just what I always wanted. There's the Western Tower. We're back over here having done a loop. Also, Happy New Year! Ah! Wow! 21! Hell yeah! What a time to be alive! Get some wells over here. Well, well, well. Don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. What's going on over here? Death. Understood. Understood. Olympus launch. You are not permitted to share the vehicle of the gods. All right, Lucio. Lucio. Fine. I didn't. I didn't want to share the vehicle of the gods anyway. Good luck with them gods trying to save Zine. Yeah. You know, they, the gods intervene for temporary blessings when we head to the altar, but as it turns out, they're pretty fickle. As everyone knows. Well, we've done a loop. We could head back to that, uh... That lake in the center. Where we got the scarabs from, but... I don't know if there's anything else out there. Maybe some lamps? I don't think anyone else, like, there's any other tents hanging around around there. So I think, I think that's good. I think, I think our Sky Road adventures have, have been enough. Barring a few other things. And maybe some blind teleports. And maybe a mega dragon. You know. Could be other things. Let's head back to Ambrose now. I guess, I guess maybe we need his help, huh? Fine. Here. We got the damn thing. Thank you for bringing me the enchanted bridle. I'm sure the griffin will let me ride him now. Please take this treasure for your services. Now I must leave, for I have business at Castle Blackfang. I must go now. Alright, 50,000 gold. We got reimbursed. It's a pity he didn't give me the money in advance to get it enchanted. But you know, he wouldn't want us to run off with the bridle and the money. That'd be rude as hell. You know, what is going on over here? I see promises of enemies, but what really is happening over here? These giant sky raiders. I got a fountain over here. It's a fountain of the elements. You are more resistant to the elements. And when you say I'm more resistant to the elements, what kind of... Oh. Oh. That seems pretty good. <laughs> and that, I mean, that, yeah. Yeah, okay. That didn't just do... Yeah, all right. That's really good. That's a really good fountain. Big fan of that fountain. Fountain of energy resistance. 
The water is cool and refreshing. Yes, we have gotten many an energy resist in recent times. I know there's another giant who is bouncing around over here. Let's go ahead and clean that up. The party needs rest. You have found a giant's lair. We'll destroy it. We're not going to let them respawn for stuff. No, we'll put an end to their miserable existences. Give me a... A box of... Daily protection. We're going to have to have a date with enchanting items again real soon, huh? And by we, I mean me. It is... It is in my future. Which I guess that's fine. If there's anything else of interest in these mountains... Holy shit, we got hit! Damn. Alright. Took some damage there. Who are you? I am Frida. My name you have heard and you have come to me to learn how to climb mountains. My lessons are not cheap and you must pay me 5,000 gold in advance. This is the person you have to get all the way to to learn how to climb mountains if you are only in dark side. I see. Nope. Oh, we got a lamp over here. Let's save the game. Ed says okay. Pork and beans. Lucky day. For freeing me, I will grant you one of the following three wishes. 500,000 gold. Or excuse me, 500,000. Wish. 10,000 gold or 500 gems. We'll take a half million experience. And maybe one day we'll be able to train with it. Maybe. One day. Who knows how many lambs have been left out there. Oh. Value. Woodpile. The records! More griffins. Whoa. Ed say yes. Necroloto, you give it a rub again. Lucky day! And take half a million experience. These kids got plenty of experience. It's these two who are missing out on so much. So, we'll see about uh, just handing them the lamps that we find over the course of gameplay. Ah, oh, yes. Necropolis. Tell you what. We'll, uh, we'll leave this up to viewer choice. Choice one is that I uh, go back to Ambrose and we go on a magic griffin ride. Heading to Castle Vampire. Choice two is that we bop on over to Necropolis. You have been armed with your choices. And that will be what we do. If uh, no viewers end up partaking in the opportunity, that's okay. And if we end up having a tie as well, that's equally okay. You should... Yeah, I check those. Anyway, this will be where I end the video and the session. I have some item enchanting to do. Will we come back? Necropolis or the Griffin? I presume I can actually take that ride. Let me check that real quick. God forbid I presented you all with a choice that we can't actually do. Do I have to go to the castle? I might actually have to go to that castle. Animal trap. Good. Fine. I need to set chest out something real quick here. Hello again, Ibn. Okay. I've been trying to rescue Queen Kalimbra, but these vampires are too powerful for me to defeat. Perhaps you could help me. I do have the only means to get into the castle. 
Would you like my griffin to fly you inside? It's a pity we can't just like rappel down from the sky road and take another entrance that we have to have the griffin fly. So, so yes, we do have a pass in Acropolis and we have the magic, well, the griffin with the enchanted bridle to fly us into this castle to rescue Queen Calendra. There's your choice between those two. We'll give it some days. We'll see what it is. You decide, if anything. Until then, fare thee well.